Good morning, Susan Kirsch from Mill Valley. Um, I was recently invited to be a facilitator for a group on consciousness for the Institute for Noetic Sciences. So it has me thinking about consciousness and I want to take advantage of public open time to, in three minutes if I can, raise three issues around consciousness. Um, one has to do with our own District 3 and the fact that, um, Kate, I want to direct this to you, that, that the Strawberry Community, um, uh, the Branson Project at Strawberry has come up again. And there's concern that there were all of the, me several meetings, eight meetings convened in secret with a plea for people to hold in confidence the kinds of uh, discussions that were going on around the Strawberry Branson Project. So encouraging in consciousness that we would recommit to the qualities of transparency in conducting the affairs for the community. The second thing that I want to bring up is Plan Bay Area 2040. The report has been released. And really, Damon, I want to direct this to you because your name is the one that's on this document for the 2040. I have here a copy of the regional forecast of jobs, population, and housing. What this plan is showing in their own diagrams and with their own conclusions is that this plan is gutting the middle class. What they say here on the household income, income distribution section is that the hollowing out of the middle, middle is projected to continue over the next 25 years. And what's happening is the wealth is being distributed from the middle to the goal post of the upper end, and the rest of the what had been a bell-shaped curve is now taken over by poverty. I think we need to be really conscientious about an economic development plan which is actually gutting the middle class and what our complicity is in participating in this economic plan, which is a transfer of wealth, and to look at what what our responsibility is in this plan. And third, I know you had budget hearings, you're looking at budget hearings, and I know you're, you're asked to support the deep green energy for Marin Clean Energy. I would urge you to take the $152,000 that would go towards a feel-good label, which in Paul Primo's letter in today's IJ shows is a pretty questionable premise and use that money to put it towards the in-home support services, which are essential services serving people on a daily basis, and not go for that feel-good quality of deep green when that is really not getting as much of anything but a feel-good label. Thank you.